Yo, yo, YouTube. Welcome back for another um, gravel adventure in the mountains. Today we're uh, in Thomas Hunting Grounds, which goes from Ukaipa up to Angeles Oaks. It's another way up here. Kind of goes to the same place that uh, Loch Levin goes to. Just a different route, kind of more secluded, more backcountry up here. Um, the way you get to this one is you go up the uh, Route 38, like you're headed to Forest Falls or Angeles Oaks. And uh, after you pass Bryant, it's going to be the first turnout on your left. There's a sign that says, uh, look out 500 feet. And uh, this is the road it's referring to. It's the same road that goes up to Morton Peak Fire Lookout. But uh, you go up that a little bit. And the first, you take it for about a mile. The first mile is crazy steep, man. It's like 10 to 13% grade. But then there's a path that turns off at the gate. The gate goes up to the fire lookout and the road that has no gate goes to Thomas Hunting Grounds where I'm at now. I've never done it before. Um, I've talked to a few people that said it was pretty easy and it was perfect for a gravel bike and so far it looks that way because it's just a nice smooth fire road. Way back in here though. This doesn't uh, parallel Route 38 like Lock Levin does. This just goes a whole different way through like the canyons of the mountains. That's Sunday right now, it's a beautiful day. And uh, I've seen shit a handful of people already up here, so I'm not too worried about being alone out here. Because if I uh, if I was alone out here, I'd be a little worried because this is this is deep in the mountains. This road does climb. I mean, so far it's kind of going downhill though. When I looked at it on Strava, it was about 4% average, which is beautiful. After coming up that mile of 10 to 13%. And I'm still training for uh, Bulldog Gravel. That comes up next weekend, next Sunday. Man, I've been training like crazy for that. My fucking legs hurt from all the riding and climbing I've done. This is like the third weekend in a row where I've been 5,000 plus feet of climbing. This ride today, it's uh, about 6,600 feet. Oh, it looks like we got a fork in the road here. Let's see where my map takes me looks like it wants me to go this way but i don't know no it wants me to go the other way i don't know where that road goes off to i'll have to check that out Cause that's kind of interesting. It goes back down towards, I don't know, I'd say like Redlands or something. I'll have to check it out on Strava and see where it goes. And this one heads in the right direction of where we're going. And it looks like this is where the climbing starts too. But man, that first 
that first mile of super steep climbing, I have never thrown up while uh, riding a bike. But that's about as close as I've ever come. I had pancakes and breakfast sausage this morning. And I could feel that shit coming up. But thankfully I kept it down. That's good training for the Bulldog Gravel next weekend. Because there's some uh, 10 plus percent grades in that. That's why I've been doing this hardcore climbing because I don't want to go into that too unprepared. But shit, I've been doing some pretty comparable rides to what that's going to be. Some. I'm feeling pretty confident about it. And that's exactly why I signed up for that, man. Because before I signed up for that, like my biggest ride was 5,000 feet of climbing. The Bulldog Gravel is like 55 miles and 75 feet of, 7,500 feet of climbing. So, uh, it has forced me to push my limits and that's what I wanted. I don't know if I'd be killing myself like this right now if I didn't sign up for that. Being able to climb on a road bike or a gravel bike, you know, like real heavy duty climbing, opens up a lot of beautiful routes that otherwise you'd be uh, hesitant to, to do, even if you wanted to. Like this man, this is beautiful right here. All right. Back into some steeper climbing here. So that uh, fork in the road that I just passed goes down to the backside of Seven Oaks Dam. It's the first time I've ever seen it from that angle. It's pretty cool. I'll have to hit that up one day. It'll be interesting to see how that comes out though. Because it's all closed off up there. As you know, dams are all protected around here. Yeah, this uh... Thomas Hunting Grounds Trail is pretty good so far. A little steep in places. Kind of rocky. But still very doable by a gravel bike. Now we got another fork in the road. Let's see where I'm going here. Not going right. This road we're getting onto is 1N12. Just more of the same. I followed the Strava heat map when I was making this route. And that, uh, that follows the most popular route that the most people take on a bike. That's so usually the safest bet. As I said before, man, the Strava route making tool is fucking awesome.
I mean, you hear about these trails from word of mouth, but when you get up here, you don't know which way to take when there's a fork in the road like that just was right there. But when you make the route, you uh, don't get lost. This area is called Thomas Hunting Grounds, but I don't know where you'd be hunting around here because it's just road and then sheer mountain drop off. Unless people hunt on the road, which I wouldn't assume. Maybe there's some uh, flatter areas coming up or you know, somewhere around here. Very nice, very nice. So I got a few comments on my YouTube from locals like, you know, thanking me for bringing these routes to, to light for them. So if you're a local and you're watching these for ideas, that's awesome, man. I hope I could, you know, if I could help out just one or two people, that's, that's awesome for me. Because finding gravel routes aren't, isn't always the easiest thing. I mean, I just learned about this one last weekend from a guy I was riding with randomly on the trail. That's how you do it, just talking to locals. You know, sometimes you get lucky by searching the internet or whatever. He was a mountain biker guy and he said he would climb Loch Levin and then descend this trail, which seems like a pretty good idea. Shit, I'm learning more new routes all the time. Like that one that goes to Seven Oaks, I just learned that today, so. I'll be giving that a try one day. And man, in this area where I live, it's like Redlands, Yukaipa, Calamesa, Banning, Beaumont, Angeles Oaks, um, you know, all these little surrounding towns, Forest Falls. There is tons of gravel. I had just moved here in August to Yukaipa. Before that, I lived, before that, I lived in Fontana. And um, when I knew I was moving out, the, out this way, this is when I bought this bike. And you know, I have a road bike too. And there's not much gravel around Fontana. I was looking when I had bought this bike. I mean, there's some, but maybe like one or two trails. And that would get boring real fast, but when I knew I was moving up here, I had a little extra money. And uh, that's when I pulled the trigger on this bike, man. Good thing I did, too, because now that I have, uh, now that I bought a house, I would not be able to afford this. Or, you know, at least justify spending that much money on a bike. Thing about buying nice bikes, you gotta just pull the trigger when you have the money. When the time is right. I don't know about everybody else, but I definitely get a little bit of buyer's remorse when I buy expensive stuff like that for myself. But hey man, this is our hobby. This is what we love to do. And you know, what better way to spend your hard-earned money than on stuff that you love. And it brings you joy. I mean, look at this. This is worth the money of this bike right here. Just seeing these cool places.
and gravel bikes just taken off so um you know more and more people are getting into it so probably more and more people will be searching on the internet and watching these videos over time and i could help more people out finding cool routes i mean shit, even if you're not a local this stuff's worth driving to there's lots of parking right at the base of this trail You could do a nice mountain loop, hop in your car and drive home. And just like with every video I make, the Strava to this ride will be in the description. So if you want to make a ride of your own around here, that'll help. Well, I've been riding for two hours now. Find a nice place to, to take a break and eat a snack. This looks good right here. Well, the trail's kind of smoothed out a little bit and the grade has calmed down. So that's nice. I just passed uh, the Santa Ana River Trail, the mountain bike trail. I've never done that on a mountain bike, but man, I've heard that was gnarly. And the section I passed right now looked pretty fucking gnarly. I used to mountain bike, but eh. I broke my clavicle doing it in Snow Summit. And I still rode a little bit after that, but then quit shortly after. I'm the type of weirdo that just likes to progress in whatever I'm doing. And progressing in mountain biking is fucking dangerous. I could have just as easy as uh just as just as easy have broken my my back or neck as I did my collarbone. I know of people that have became uh, quadriplegics from mountain biking on just chill everyday trails too. Trails they've done a hundred times and then you know something weird goes wrong. So. Gravel biking satisfies my need for dirt pretty well. I was gonna come back down Lock Levin when I was descending today, but I think I'll come down this again because uh, I was on Lock Levin last weekend and we had to rain a few weeks ago. And it made that trail pretty, pretty washed out. A little on the chunkier side for a gravel bike. And this is nice and smooth right here. So I think I'll uh, descend this today. Well, this is a bit less chunky than Lock Levin. The grade It's a little bit more uh, steep. I'm at 10% right now. It just kind of follows the grade of the Morton Peak Fire Lookout. It seems like, but for a lot longer.
coming up to a peak here. I think I might be getting towards the top of the trail. Hopefully. This goes to the same place that the Lock 11 does. So with the steeper climbing, it assume it would be shorter. But it does not feel that way. Maybe there's a little descending involved. That'd be nice. Got into the forest now. I'm assuming I'm uh, hitting about 7,000 feet of elevation here. Not climbed, but that's where I'm at. Climbed about uh, 4,000 feet in 14 miles. This is some beautiful terrain right here. Under a canopy of oak trees and pine trees. Maybe this is the hunting grounds right here because it's kind of flat all around. I can see this being a good spot to hunt. In there. Man, I've never seen this type of terrain around here before. Up here at the top of the mountain. These are pretty much all oak trees in there, which is kind of weird for this high of elevation. Mixed uh, with a little bit of pine trees. Oh yeah, look at this. This is really cool. Oh, there's a campground up here. See people camping. Wouldn't that be cool to do some bike camping up here? I'm gonna go off the path a little bit, up this way. Kind of looks like uh, the peak of the mountain over here. I bet you there's a bitch in view. Over this little rise right here, all I see is blue sky. Oh, look at this beast. Oh yeah, brother, get it. This 
a nice little path right here. And I think this is actually the start to the Santa Ana River Trail mountain bike trail. Yeah, this is the ridge. And that was definitely worth it. Well, that little turnout was well worth the, the view. There's a lookout over part of, pretty much the entire valley. So that's cool. Still climbing now. Shit. I just passed some dudes in a Jeep. Made sure I was going the right way. I said I was, so. Nice dang. I thought I was pretty much at the top when I got to that area. That was a nice area though. Some people camping up there. Looks like some people were just there for the day. Having a barbecue. I'll have to go back there and take the, the old lady and the dogs one time. Well, I peaked the mountain. And uh, this is the descent down into Angeles Oaks. I'm not sure if I'll be coming back this way or not. Because I think I have uh, a pretty sharp descent according to my my um route I don't know, it just like drops off i don't know what the hell that's gonna be i can see angela soaks down to the right of me and it's way down there this is a very gnarly gravel climb that's for sure Well worth it though, it's fun. On my quest to explore all the gravel around here. And this dirt looks loose, but it's like, it has some pretty good traction in here. Ah, oh, shit. I might just take the road home, to be honest. I still have decent amounts of uh, pressure in my tires. So I'd be fine with that. I don't know if I'm going to feel like climbing back up this to get out of here after I get to the store. And that fucking bump I hit up there hurt my ankle, damn it.
too bad, the pain's already gone, but it was sore for a second. And I hope I'm going the right way. I definitely want to come out at the store. Hmm. I think I'm going to check my phone. Okay, I checked my phone and oddly enough I have a uh, service right here. And it lets me out right by the store. That's perfect. This is a just about a perfect perfect little loop, man. You get a good climb in the beginning and you get this nice little dirt descent. Right to the store. Then you can go back the way you came, or uh, you can take the road back down to the valley, all downhill. That's what gravel bikes are all about, baby. Road or gravel, it don't matter. Either or. These mountains right across from us are the backside of Big Bear. Down here in this valley is Seven Oaks. If you wanted a really epic ride, you can go down into Seven Oaks and then climb up the backside of Big Bear on gravel. That would be an all-dayer, that's for sure. Easily doable. You know, take a backpack, take a bunch of food, a bunch of water. Could refill up the store here on halfway. And you could even take the road all the way down from uh, Big Bear. Yeah, this is beautiful. Glorious gravel. I feel like I've been saying it a lot, but gravel don't get much better than this. Wait, what do we got up here? A little lookout. Cool. I can hear and see the road. Almost there. There's the store. Man, awesome route. Highly recommend this one, guys. Thomas Hunting Grounds from about Ukaipa drops you off right at the store. Anyways, that'll be the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Maybe uh, it'll give you an idea for a good route for yourself. Uh, like and subscribe if you'd be so kind. And I'll see you on the next one. Yeah, yeah.